If you want to hit some clean, juicy forearms like Naomi here, you got to make sure you're utilizing your non-dominant arm appropriately. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how. If you are new to My Tennis HQ, we do tennis lessons, racket reviews, practices with pro players, and tennis content you won't find anywhere else. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button. All right, so continuing here talking about forehand, forehand, mostly forehand mistakes. On the last video, I talked about the uniturn, right? Making sure you're not like overturning. Obviously, a lot of people don't turn enough, but there's actually a lot of people who overturn. Um, so make sure you watch that video before you watch this one. But on, on this video, I wanna actually talk about our left arm, okay? I think I see so many people using their left arms wrong, okay? So basically, this, position here after you let the racket go right and I'm extending my left arm and again you can extend it you can just bring it here it doesn't really it's not really an issue um, if it's extended or if it's not extended but it's more like utilizing the left arm to your advantage not to your disadvantage now I see a lot of players there's a couple of things that I see there are issues one bringing it too far back so you're gonna unit turn and then bring it too far back here and you're like this and by the time you're hitting because your left arm is so far back here, right? We, we can sit on the line. We're gonna allow the ball to get to this position here. And then how are you gonna hit it? You're gonna hit it late. See, this to this, this is a problem, right? You can, I think you should use your left arm very much so on your, on your forehand, especially on the take back. I'm able to go boom with my left arm. You see, I didn't do anything on my right. I actually pushed with my left and I'm where I need to be with my shoulder turn, right? From middle, there, great. It's great to use your left arm here, but if you do too much, you're back here, you're going to hit late. This is your aim, okay? This is your aim. If, once you let go, you're almost aiming at the ball here because that's going to be your contact point. Boom, let it go, contact point in front. You gotta use the left arm properly here. This is not for balance. When my coach used to say, we're not surfing, we can stand with our left arm, right? But, but we gotta make sure that the left arm is all the way there in front so we don't allow the ball to get here. We're hitting the ball all the way there in front. So that's number one mistake I see. And the second mistake I see is actually after you let go of the record so sometimes you do this perfectly you you get to this position well you use your left arm on your take back well but from here you let the record go and then you drop it or it goes into like a weird position it goes like this and then you try to hit the ball your left arm should be going where you want your racket to go right we want our rackets to go up and forward and around our shoulders right our left arm should be doing the same we're going to let go and we're gonna allow the left arm to move up and around. And you see most players, when they're hitting the ball, they kind of have their left arm like up here like this. A lot of players, it's very uncommon that they're like down here, okay? Because if it's down here, you're gonna pull the racket to where your left arm is. So especially if you're having a problem hitting low to high, if you're creating that, that top spin, it's probably because you're hitting, a, your arm is dropping and you're kind of dropping with it. Okay, so we gotta make sure from here, we're gonna start rotating forward, right? That left arm should be going up, around, and you're gonna be hitting where your left arm was. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, it's a very simple thing, but like I see this is a mistake all the time. And, and your left arm is so important on your aim, making sure that you get to the ball here, boom, and you hit, right? Wesley, come here, feed me a few balls. I'm not even gonna hit him. This is a good way to like learn how to utilize your arm, your, your left arm as an aim. So just go there, feed me like a couple balls. So far away, far away, far. There you go, just feed me right there. And I'm gonna go to it and I'm gonna hold the racket, you see? Roll the ball, hold the ball, catch the ball. So get here, catch the ball, you see? And then from here, I would have accelerated, right? Like so a little bit further away here, a couple balls. So if you feed me there, so I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna use perfect distance I'm not reaching I'm not getting like here I'm in perfect distance to hit the ball because I'm utilizing my left arm as a guide right so again both hands on the racket let go catch again see both hands on the racket let go 
catch. And see, at that point, I'm completely ready to hit. I don't want to be letting go the left arm until I'm really ready to go forward. I don't want to be running around like that racket like this because that's the, prob the problem. If you let go too early, you might like go like this afterwards. Okay, so make sure you're getting to the ball using the left arm. Boom, you see that's perfect distance. And from there, if I wanted to hit it, obviously, again, I'm holding left, accelerate. Again, hold left, accelerate. You see, one more. Be using the left arm, guide, aim, and accelerate. It's a very important, it's a very important thing, very simple thing, but you guys gotta focus. Maintaining that left arm up here on the stroke, with the stroke, not allowing it to drop, not allowing it to go too far back, just maintaining here on this parallel line to the, to the baseline maybe, even a little bit less, depending on your stroke, but not really allowing it to go too far back down to weird places. Really use your left arm properly and start hitting better for it. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel. As we keep growing, we put out more content for you. Visit MyTennisHQ.com, follow us on social media, and I will see you guys on the next one. And I just want to let you guys know that we're working on something super exciting for you, an amazing new training program. To be the first one to find out when it's ready, get on our early access list by going to TopTennisSecrets.com. We're about to take online training to a whole new level, so make sure you go check that out.